Jacktober. Uh, not much Jacktober left. What's the date today? Well, my goodness. October 28th. I'm going to miss Jocktober. Jocktober. We might have to make it a regular feature. Not like... Like not maybe, every day. Nah, like once, maybe every, once every two weeks. We just got to change the name of it or just something. Just for filler. For, yeah. Well, no, it's just for some On original. those slow days. Oh, yeah. Original we'll material. Count on you to find more of these hacky radio shows. We can't, like, go a whole year without doing this. A whole we just year can't. without listening to this dreck? What if we go one every, uh, one a month, one every two weeks? I, I think just, we could pull that off. We'll call it Jocktober all year round. No, we, we we have 20 guys that work for Jack us behind the scenes. Vimber, Come up, up with a fucking name that works, will you? You got it. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Jocktober, everybody, from your friends at the O.P. and Anthony Show. I want to rock! It's a celebration of hacky, pukey radio shows and DJs from across this great nation of ours. The block of the bed is sweet as the juice, baby! There was a lot of energy there for some reason, but it's like wasted energy. Yeah. It's like sitting in your driveway in neutral and just <laughs> gassing it. Strike up the crapola, it's Jocktober. There's a person stranded. There's a show, there's a show. <laughs> it's stranded. Uh, my rebuttal is, the Obama. <laughs> I like that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? Happy Jocktober, everybody, from your friends at the O.P. and Anthony Show. Ha-ha. Let's all do it. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. There was no joy attached to that sound. None. Let's do Jocktober. Jack O.J. Today, we're, we're, we're into a new theme. Yeah. The beginning well, of Jocktober was a bunch of uh, uh, couple acts. But where you they, weren't sure if they were married or not. This is a little crossover, though. Oh, okay. It has a little of that? Uh-huh. Well, we're also looking at uh, some of our old radio stations that we got kicked off. Right. Yesterday, we were hanging out with Chunky on 92.3 right. Now. So we, we lost Joel Hollander, and the guy who took his place, uh, you know, let's be honest with each other here. He didn't really have our back, so then he... Didn't really have our back? Yes, he did with a fucking knife. Yeah, I'm trying to be, <laughs> Dan I'm, Mason? No, he didn't have our backs I'm trying at to all. Be polite. No. He finally decided that, uh, yeah, let these uh, the radio stations do what they want, and if they want to do a local thing, then let them do a local thing. So we got uh, shown the door, and they replaced us with the famous uh, Loper, and, Loper and Smitty show, where they do the Lopewisers for yes. all the people that... Our faithful listeners of this radio show, you know what we're talking about. And now they've added a chick named Randy. Yes, Loper and Smitty, since we last visited them, quickly became Loper, Smitty, and Randy. And the thing that makes it fun is Randy and Loper are engaged to be married. Wow, that's wild. Yeah, so you get to kind of go on that road with them. You know how exciting it is when your relatives get married and, and you get to hear about it all the time? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, oh, thrill, thrill a minute. I, it really is. I got <laughs> happy for them. Yeah, you just want to hear about it so I, much. Yeah. I got oh. engaged and married, and we might have spent an hour talking about it in Total. the last year. Total, yes. yeah. Wonderful. Enough. Uh, so here we go. This is the show that replaced us, which, by the way, uh, E-Rock showed me the ratings yesterday. They're doing absolutely fucking nothing. In the shitter. Hard to believe. So are we, we doing start. poor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the end, we uh, we're always right. Good. I mean, come on. Lober Smitty and Randy, morning buzz sweeper. Here we go. Live, local, and very vocal. You need to do something about your bo. The morning buzz with Loper, Smitty, and Randy. Deep voice guy. That fucking radio, <laughs> and it's just terrestrial radio in general. I fucking love it. Will you stop bad. with the fucking making it sound like it's the coolest uh, thing? It's cool. It's local, so fucking phony, man. Another one with local, but this time and local vocal. and vocal. Oh, that rhymes with what yeah. else rhymes with local? This is mm. this is not a top forty station. This is not something for girls or teenagers or whatever. This is Florida's new rock alternative. All right, all right. This is a rock and roll type of deal here. They're vocal <laughs> and local. It? Well, and local, yeah, yes. of course, yeah. Vocal and local, like the, the dramatic this, guy voice. Fun. Uh, the gang. Panel, let's get into this Loper, Smitty, and Randy thing from West Palm Beach. They're on the buzz, everyone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and as we begin. Now watch, we just start cracking up. It's the funniest shit we <laughs> yeah, ever I know, heard. watch it be hilarious. We're all jealous. <laughs> hey, Lope Wiser, get me one, too. Uh, okay, probably <laughs> we, not. <laughs> we also need to take note that uh, how, how often and how specific they are about where their callers are from, how often they repeat, 
by the way he's from and and because it's got to be local yes they're hitting all points of dude when you listen to the radio you don't give a shit if a fucking local town is mentioned no one cares you know how that pd is probably telling them look here's and and they didn't come up with that idea they weren't like hey Mm -hmm. let me make sure we uh we throw in the callers uh you just want location an interesting phone call yeah the pd funny phone call the pd gets in there and goes hey shit Make sure you mention where the call is from. That, that local angle is so important, guys. You keep plugging that. And they've probably got a sign in the studio. Guaranteed. <laughs> keep it local. And vocal. And vocal. Like, they probably got those so they What's see the it all the part? time. That's yeah! When- Florida! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got to be, like, local, vocal, and loud. All right. Let's find out. <laughs> the gang starts a new game called Guess What Dead Guy Randy's Doing. Wow. wow. Who's Randy? Randy is the young lady. The who young lady? Oh, okay. right, right. oh, yeah. We saw a picture right. of her, right? She's, she's kind she of has a great blonde. legs. We got, yeah. no, we can't, we can't uh, really bash her for being a pig because she's, no, she's uh, very not. attractive. She's right. lovely uh, yeah. looking. Here we go. Wish now, you heard AFI. We do have AFI tickets, and we also have a brand new game. Name of the game is Guess What Dead Guy Randy's Doing? <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, man. just in time for Halloween, kids. That's right, guys. Guess what dead guy Randy's doing. Can you explain this game? This- applause. The, no, I said, oh, no, I said the applause. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like the phony, the, the applause button they push. And the, they just laugh at, at the guess what dead guy Randy's doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's a funny name we didn't even hear three seconds ago in the break. <laughs> <laughs> they like awful. They like that applause sound effect. I hope you enjoy hearing that. Oh, oh really? Yeah. There's a lot and of it. They I like do. It. It's just not like a festive atmosphere. Like There's a lot of people and they're clapping and laughing when there's none. Oh. Remind me, Kevin from Connecticut, I think, on my Twitter last night, he sent me um, two fucking clips of Dan Ingram saying cunt. Beautiful for Jocktober. Really? Oh. Yeah, you guys will have to get that for me so we can play for everybody. Pretty good stuff. Thank you, Kevin. I, I should have fucking wrote you back last night. All right, back to this thing. Guess what dead guy Randy's doing? Uh-huh. Can you explain this game? Because this sounds like a pretty borderline illegal game. Oh. Guess what? Is it a game full of... Bunch of dead guys, and you're the queen of necrophiliacs. Is that how this game works out? I'm an impersonator. Oh, you're an impersonator. Ah. So you're going to impersonate dead people. You're going to give me, like, a voice impersonation. You'll probably throw some character traits in there. Oh, I know what she's going to do first. Uh The station's ratings. Oh, Oh, gosh. Uh, Guess what dead guy she's doing uh, down there on Okeechobee Boulevard. (laughs) (laughs) You know, down there in West Palm. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, oh. That's right. It's going out to everybody at the Big City Tavern on uh, Clementis Street in West Palm Beach. Wow. Just want to say hi to everybody down there. If you're not looking at a map, I'm throwing hot coffee in your face. Oh, if you please. know those fucking shitty street names. What do you think I put in? I put in West Palm <laughs> Hotspots. Okay, good. <laughs> Google. And she's stepping over that drunk uh, Billy Mac uh, laying there. <laughs> That's where Billy Mac lives. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Mac! <laughs> character traits in there yeah and we're gonna have to guess exactly what dead person you are impersonating right it's yeah, gonna be tough okay there's been a lot of dead people this year yeah, yeah i know lots of dead people i got a list you got a spec <laughs> got a list i got a list holy I shit that's a... why are they I'm laughing ex- at that though i don't know they they just have to like laugh i think they just <laughs> <laughs> she has a list <laughs> It's just randomly laughing stuff. Oh, God. But it brings up another point we've made too many times for yeah, some of yeah. the faithful listeners. When you hear that hot fucking radio voice, she's the biggest fucking pig. <sighs> this girl is actually hot, and she's... Hey, she talks like this. But she's getting ready. She, that's, one, that's not her regular voice. Yeah, it oh, kind of no? sounds okay. like a regular she's, voice. She's starting with her... She's uh, starting to get into character. Impression like voice. Like Mr. Imus. That's I, right. I was I was out late down at John Bull English Pub on Village Boulevard <laughs> oh. uh, last night, keeping it local, place. keeping it local and vocal and vocal. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I want a low poiser. Oh, do you want you. a low poiser? I do. Do we get to hear some low poisers? I'm not going to sit yes. here and give spoilers. All uh, right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> That's a low poiser. Yeah, it's yeah. actually it's actually cum mixed with fizz and a swizzle stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Yes. Let's uh, meet the contestants oh. for the new game and get many douche chills. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's a ghost. 
That is ghostly sounds, my friend. It's uh, Loper, Smitty, Randy, a.k.a. LSR, live and local. Is- oh, the game is called oh, Guess Wait, what did he say? He said LSR, live and local. LSR. Oh, okay. It's LSR. See, Loper. Do they got t-shirts Holy made? LSR. Smitty and Randy. It's That's LSR, correct. dude. And where are they? Live and local. local. There's local. nothing worse than forced branding. <laughs> LSR, everybody. That's fucking horrendous. Yeah. What are you talking about, brother man? I don't know. <laughs> Mother Hucka, uh, I'm going to fuck you up. They should that. fucking just <laughs> jump off the Flagler Memorial Bridge. <laughs> is what I believe hope they should do. Hope they don't crash through the front window of the West Palm Beach Improv. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Actually, actually, it's the only thing in that fucking city that I like. That club <laughs> pays me well. Message to Anthony. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> hey, I'm keeping it local <laughs> and vocal. Actually, please do. Keep doing that. <laughs> And if you have to explain that they're scary sounds, maybe they're not scary sounds. <laughs> that's so a ghost must... sound. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's pretty yeah. scary. Yeah. LSR, live and local. Andy, a.k.a. LSR, live and local. The game is called Guess What Dead Guy Randy's Doing. Now, normally this might upset me, but uh, today this makes me smile. Randy's impersonations are nothing less than... Radio Gold, so make sure you stick around. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We have Dylan, who is cruising down 95. Dylan. What's up, brah? Nothing, man. Uh, On my way up. What's up, brah? What's up, brah? <laughs> he didn't just say, what's up, brah? Uh, he certainly did, James. <laughs> that makes my neck itch. <laughs> what's up, brah? I want to pull at one of my uh, skin right. tags right now. Uh, <laughs> ow. <laughs> Steven S. Rebacia, LSR equals. Why Why didn't we come up with this? Uh huh. Lousy shit radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that's LSR. Yeah, lousy that's shit right, radio. That's right, brah. Uh, that's that, uh, brah. We hear that again. Let's, uh, I want to hear that because that's a really cool way to talk. No. <laughs> I want to learn to do that. No, yeah. we can't play that again. Come on, brah. Nope. I can't do it. How do you do it? Uh, uh, let's see here. We have. Dylan, who is cruising down 95. What's up, brah? Nothing. What's up, brah? What's, what's up, brah? And where is he? He's cruising down 95. Where is he? That's is not he? too local, Sam. That's a big road. 95, uh... We got a 95 be, right up here. Could yeah, be but... 10, 20 miles long. <laughs> Rape! <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Rape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying, I bet the people listening are like... Oh, man, I've cruised down 95 before. I, I know love this show. I know what he's talking about. Yes. I'm bra. familiar with that road, bra. I'm 95 right now. He is my bra. <laughs> Shut up. He's my bra. <laughs> uh, stinks. <laughs> Come on, more laughs. I want to have more laughs. Yeah, we need more I laughs. I want to be wiser. Dylan, who is cruising down 95. What's up, bra? Nothing, man. On my way up. Good. Uh, Liz in Port St. Lucie, how are you, Chicky Poo? How are Port you, Chicky Poo? Hey. Oh, how are you, you Chicky Poo? In Port St. Lucie. That's right. That's Chicky right. Poo. This is fucking unbearable. Home of spring training. <laughs> she's not a bra, she's a Chicky Poo. Chicky Poo? <laughs> Chicky Poo. Oh. You don't like Chicky Poo? Uh, no, not unless Why? not Why unless don't a you like Chicky Poo. Not unless a, ch- a fucking little chick is standing on my chin, uh-huh. dropping something <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> chicky Poo. Is that what he calls the girls? Yeah. Yeah. That's hey, chicky guys poo. in the bra. Bras and Chicky hey, Poo. Bra. But he's got to be careful because his, you know, his fiance is hey. right there next to him. Uh, that's right. We're doing a little flirting on the phone. Hey. That's a little crazy. Hey. Chicky Poo. That's something Randy's got to deal with. You know, Loper's kind of a hardcore metal guy, kind of hit. On the chicks, he's a man's man. Yeah, so. brah. Randy. Chicky poo. Uh, Liz in Port St. Lucie, how are you, Chicky poo? Good, oh. how are you? Man, <laughs> you all are gonna need mouth buzzers for this game. Lizard, what are you gonna choose? <laughs> Liz. Liz, all right. And Dylan, what are you gonna go with, bro? Crush. Crush. Oh god. <laughs> Crush. 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 Liz. Crush. Mm. Look. Look. Do the bit! <laughs> and <laughs> punt. <laughs> I actually mix, I miss fucking Maxwell. <laughs> I really and do. Punt. And punt. And punt. Stupid ass Maxwell. I know. I've grown to like him though. I don't know. I really shouldn't. <laughs> and punt. And punt. <laughs> I miss that mess. <laughs> that has bag. to sleep with a mask.
<laughs> fucking asshole. He was a disaster, but at least he was fucking. He had the ability to be vicious. These guys are just terrible. Yeah, they're they're just terrible. Like, I would say he, he, he was at least a, 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 an ornery kind of a prick. Uh, uh, these guys are just terrible. This so is, he could be pretty mean. This he, is awful. Bruh. This is fucking awful, brah. Uh, hey, ONA, it's really funny when radio shows condense their name, LSR rules. Oh, hey, ONA? ONA. Oh, people call us ONA because they really don't want to say OP. I, yeah. I don't even want to say OP. By the way, we, we, we never came up with ONA. No. Yes. That's it's, the difference between natural branding and forced branding. Yeah, yeah like people just started natural with the fans. saying ONA. Right. No one's no saying one's LSR saying, live yeah. and local. <laughs> Who hey. yells that? Hey, LSR. Why shut up? That's what Abner and Louie yelled while Volpe was fucking with the plunger. <laughs> <laughs> LSR live and local. He just kept yelling it. <laughs> Did you notice that Loper called Liz Lizard? Lizard. Oh, yeah. I, I really, I think I blocked that out. Like yeah, fucking did. Childhood incident. Chicky, yeah. chicky poo. Chicky poo, what's up, Lizard? Chicky poo. Some guy, what is it, Riker Redline? Rike Red? I don't know what your name is, but he says, who is this guy, Pauly Shore? <laughs> yeah. What's up, brah? Randy does her first dead guy. All right, finally we can get into the new, the new bit Come called on. Guess What Dead Guy Randy's Doing. <laughs> <Fuck. Okay. laughs> All right, so you know what you're listening for. Randy's going to do an impersonation. If you think you can nail that, well, buzz in and give us a dead celebrity. Yeah, yeah, that's the key to the game. It's someone that's dead. And are you only doing 2009 dead people? Yep. All right, it's a <laughs> Halloween spooktacular here on the Morning Buzz, and here we go. Guess what dead guy Randy's doing? Randy, kick it off. I can sell ice to an Eskimo. I'm talking about my Coke problem, people. <laughs> Get clean with orange glow. I mean, glow. Is, uh... Oh. Liz. Last oh, ride was Liz. on an airplane. Liz. Liz is in with the guest. Go ahead, Liz. Billy Mays. Billy Mays, absolutely yeah. correct. Wow, Randy. That is an uncanny Billy Mays. Thanks. Absolutely incredible. Yee me. <laughs> that, um. Please, can we have a, a Maxwell after that one? Do the bit. <laughs> and punt. <laughs> 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 Um, Bozy Bozy Bob, City Bob, and punt. And holy shit, who's listening to this? You guys he know. does these impersonations. <laughs> I swear, you would think it was the real people. <laughs> oh, this fucking stinks to high heaven. I nigh. Let's go to St. Louis, Jesse. Oh, uh, this is priceless. Uh, Mr. A uh, Boo 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 Mother Hucker yeah. and Big Daddy James and the guy who answers a fart are bashing these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I only answered a fart once. Yes. It sounded like hello. Yeah, you talked to it all the way home. You made it buckle up. <laughs> hey, we're not creep. We're not saying we we didn't have our, our uh, bad haircuts over the years, but we got we got through it. Yeah. Exactly. We got bad through. haircuts go. This fucking LSR <laughs> is the fucking is is the equivalent of beheading. It's the bold cut of radio we're listening to. You guys know Billy Mays had a cocaine in his system, right? Yes. I guess. You yeah. did know that. I'm glad yeah. you clarified. Yeah. Orange blow. I knew it right when she said, um, I could sell ice cubes to an Eskimo. You yeah, got it then? Yeah, because yeah. that meant he's... I had it. He, she was talking about a pitch man. Yeah. You should have let your mouth and buzz only go one off. pitch man yep. that died in the last year. And his yep. name is Billy Mays. And... But ice cubes are never... No one, no one fucking buys ice cubes anywhere. No. Hawaiians yeah. don't buy ice cubes. They make them for free. Yeah, and just tap water. <laughs> no ice, right? Exactly. Um, the new game's going <laughs> so well with these guys. They decided they needed to do another one. Good. No, this is this is the thing. It's the best out of five. Holy what? shit! Yeah. I mean, it's not because you know anybody can have one lucky guess. Fuck. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, oh, Jamie from West Virginia has a very good observation. Jamie. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Thank you. Um, they're even keeping their dead guys local. I'm pretty sure Billy Mays was from West Palm Beach. <laughs> well, they've got to keep the dead guy local. Yeah. Oh my God, please tell me that's yeah, what man. they were doing there. Come on. Let's continue. Here we go, Dylan. you got to get in the game, man. Guess what dead guy Randy's doing for AFI tickets. I got killed by a gunshot wound from my stupid-ass girlfriend. <laughs> The Steve McNair! The all-time leading passer. Wait, hey, hey, Crush, Dylan, who's cruising down 95, is in. Go ahead, buddy. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Kurt, Kurt Cobain, Cobain did not die anywhere near this year, Are my friend. Are you stupid? All-time well, leading he, passer? He said it wasn't this year. No, it is this year. In fact, oh. it is this year. <laughs> the first year. one was Billy Mays, dude. All right, go ahead, uh, Liz oh, in Port St. Lucie. 
Steve McNair. Steve McNair, absolutely correct. Poor Liz Saint Lucy. off to the early two nothing lead. Lizard. Lizard. Chicky poo. What's you know, just the bra was still cruising Saint down ninety five? Yeah, yeah. Bra. Keep it local. It's where they don't listen to the entertainment on satellite radio, the funny jokes or the good music. They want to hear the highway names. Yes. <laughs> you assholes. You're not and a good towns. Are you trying to say you're not a good radio show unless you name highways? That's what I listen for when I'm riding around. I don't want entertaining content. I want commercials and highway names. All right. In that case, I want to say good morning to the Long Island Expressway. Yeah. Wow. Huh? You Live got one in? You got one? I drove in on the uh, Northern State Parkway, which becomes, <laughs> which becomes the Grand Central. Central. Fucking A. I uh, drove in on that, and I uh, <laughs> just want to say hi to everybody I passed. I want to say hi to everyone on the PCH. Hey. Hi. <laughs> say hi to everyone wow. from Washington Street to Christopher, back down around to Greenwich, and then back up around to Washington. <laughs> oh, my God. There wow. Is, that's just a They're really cruising around. Trannies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say hi to everybody going to work right now on the old I-5 uh, down there in uh, Orange County. Yeah. I'll just have to take your word for it. You don't know I'm going local for California. California. You know what I'm going to oh, I'll be on the 10 today. I five. You can be on the 10. And the 410, because I'll go to uh, LA Burbank there. Burbank and stuff. Let's yeah, say yeah, hi to the I, 202. I, I, I oh, wow. That's Look at channel. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's got to be a 202 out there somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. No, but not the, two, <laughs> the, the 202 is California. The. Whatever Someone's you say, that's LA. Yeah. But I didn't say the 202. The 5. The 5? The 10. What about the 7? 5. There's no 7. <laughs> you sure? Positive. They had a 7, but it was stolen. Randy does another dead guy. But then they tease the game will return tomorrow. This Fuck. game is so good that they have to spend two days on it. Well, they got more tickets to give away. Guess what dead guy Randy's doing? Hey, uh, I got a drug problem. <laughs> Wait, uh, Loper, OG Smitty. I'm Jewish. Uh, I can oh. spin pills on my turntables. Uh-huh. You know where I can score some meth? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> can you can you just do that one more time, please? Oh, Liz, Liz is in. Liz, I got a problem with drugs. DJ AM. DJ AM with the clean oh. sweep. Guess what dead guy Randy's doing? This is what I think should happen. What's that? You know how sometimes... Wait, okay. he goes, this is what yeah. I think should happen. Maybe we should stop right there. Oh, yeah. Fucking <laughs> Maybe bomb. we should stop. I was just <laughs> fall on the Maybe suicide, we should stop suicide right bomb. The fucking PD runs in with a bomb strapped to, strap to his chest. He yells, Allah Akbar, and falls on the console. <laughs> with a bomb strapped to his chest. <laughs> yes. Yeah, same as a bomb. Dude! <laughs> 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 uh, is he coming in today? Bobby's coming yeah. in today, right? Did I say yeah. Bob? Yeah, you did. It sounded like Bob nice anyway. You know what? They're, they're live. They're local. Boom. Dude, you got your coffee. You got no listeners. Boom. <laughs> you named the highways. <laughs> yeah, dude. You say the highways. Everybody knows where Come you are. Come up with pet names. Yeah, dude. The listeners. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The applause sounds busy. Boom. Low prizes. <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, low, oh, low prizer. Ah. Sweep. <laughs> Guess what dead guy Randy's doing? This is what I think should happen. What's that? You know how sometimes, like, when the comics come into town, you, like, introduce them at the improv? Right. I think Randy should do a solid seven minutes of her impersonations of dead dudes. It'll be back tomorrow, all the way till Halloween. Guess what dead oh. guy Randy's doing? How about what comics you won't introduce? Because they used to be on your station. Prince and Randy. Oh, they play music. Yeah, they play a little music too. Yeah, but they they get to talk more than most shows do. That's, oh, that's good, cool. Because they got so much stuff to say. Let me go to Jimmy James in New Hampshire. All the regulars Morning. checking in today. Jimmy James. Oh. Morning, Morning, boys. Morning. Rabity, rape, rape. Rabity, rape, uh. rape. I I think we're being a little judgmental, passing judgment early. I think this bit has potential. I okay. think we need to test it out with. Um, Guess what, dead guy Ted Sheckler's doing. Ooh, I like wait, that wait, very wait, much. Wait, 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 let's get our spooky music. We gotta do it like they do. We gotta have a lot of production value behind your bit. We got any scary music so Ted could do this bit for us? Mm -hmm. Well, give it a second. We should have <laughs> we weren't prepared for this. over this in some kind of post-show <laughs> meeting. Or All right, something. here we go. Ah. Oh. I'm moonwalking <laughs> with a hat and a glove. Can I use Can I use my mouth buzzer? You have to, yes, sir. <laughs> I am I am moonwalking. <laughs> my sister Latoya. I have my finger at the bottom of a youngster. <laughs> my father's hitting me again. I'm on fire. I have a Janet from Three's Company wig on and white Who's children, which aren't mine. Who is John Phillips? That's excellent. A very good guess. <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> right, let's continue. Who's Jack Tolbert? <laughs> That's nice. The gang opens up the huge mail sack and read an email from a listener. Listener in quotes. What? You don't I, think it's a real fucking email? I. Are you questioning their fucking? Let's just say that I had enough experience with Scorch's email bag that all were written by a similar person. So Scorch had a fake email bag? Uh, I think I saw... Oh, why are you giving away Scorch's oh, fucking tricks? Scorch. <laughs> Let's just say... He, somebody, just, he just wants to make it in that tiny little town. Somebody's assignment in Syracuse was to go home and write emails for Scorch every single night. <laughs> The gang opens up the huge mail sack. That's in quotations because Sam knows a little bit about the huge mail sack. And uh, reads an <laughs> Say email. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> and reads uh, an email from a listener. That's in quotes because uh, Sam knows that's a fake fucking listener email, which results in Randy and Loper talking about their wedding location. Ugh! That's good stuff. Come on now. You want to hear a guy and a girl planning their wedding on the radio? Absolutely. All right, let's Death look self. into the Morning Buzz huge mail sack, shall we? <clears throat> this one comes to us from uh, Billy in Boynton. He says, what's up, Loper, Smitty, and Randy? How the hell are you? What's you know up? What? What's up? Guys. No, he didn't. <laughs> I had to stop because before we move forward, we, we I don't think we did the uh, the dead guy bit uh, justice. Although Ted Sheckler was really good. Richard from Washington State has a great idea. <laughs> I know what it is. He's <laughs> oh, waiting no. for someone else to suggest oh, it. No. <laughs> Richard from Washington State oh, no. has a great idea. And if he doesn't come in here, fucking Club Soda Kenny will drag him in here <laughs> <laughs> by his fucking <laughs> love handles. Richard! Good morning, boys. Hi, hey. Richard. Can we please hear what that guy, the virus, is doing? <laughs> <laughs> let's, get, let's get the virus in here. And, uh, oh, my God, I'm sweating. This is such a good idea. Get the virus in here, and let's hear him do a um, well, we gotta, know, we gotta impression. Get his, do we go with his music, or do we go with a Halloween theme for the virus today? Oh, I love his music. I like his music, too. His it's, music it's, is so it's, Kenny perfect. has just marched down the hall to make sure that there's no shenanigans today, and the virus gets his ass down it's here. piggy music. <laughs> here <laughs> comes the virus. <laughs> Oh, look, here comes the virus. Everyone get their fucking cameras out. Here you, comes happy, the you think he's happy to be coming down the hall? No, not at all. Here he comes. We're all, we're all just watching him walk. Here comes the virus. Uh, oh, he just flipped the bird to everybody in the room. Yeah, on, like, that's good. Jimmy, he's, he's happy to be here. Come on. Virus hat. <laughs> the virus. Here he is. Hey, it's the virus. Hey, virus. Here's the virus. What's going on, yeah. virus? Just comedy gold every time. <laughs> virus, you know the bit we're doing today? Yeah, I heard it, guys. All right, you're going to do like a dead guy impression, and we got to figure out who you're doing, okay? Yeah, who it is based on your subtle clues. That's right. Subtle. That you get. Very subtle. Here we go. The virus. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> I've done worse than kill you, Admiral. I've hurt you. From hell's heart, I stab at thee. It's a... Oh, okay. I, I know who it is, but... I don't. It's like Can we get a little more? It's a movie line. Let's Welcome to Fantasy Island. Doing Real subtle. You're not supposed to, I don't think you're supposed to do like describe yourself. Yeah, you're supposed yeah. To give clues. You would say something more like, "I sell cars with rich Corinthian leather yes, right. as the seats." I was in a movie with uh, William Shatner. I wore you a white suit. You don't do the yeah. You don't do the actual fucking lines. <laughs> I'm surprised we oh, haven't oh. learned. I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I do appreciate a good Wrath of Khan uh, quote. Yeah. Do another one. Who you got? Yeah, you should do a different one. Yeah, yeah I, I think so. Absolutely. Montalban. That's right. By the uh, way. We need a dead, dead, dead guy. Up. Some clues. Come on, clues. Go. Start. All right, let's go. Here comes. What clues you got? Let's go. The virus doing the dead guy uh, a bit. Come on. Everybody listen. What clues you got? Boom. Don't do Michael Jackson. We just did him. Boom. Yeah. Go. Do, 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 do. Uh, the dead guy. Come on. Who you got? Oh. Um, don't do Billy Mays either. <clears throat> Here comes the virus. I used to sell 
Alpo dog food. I might show up at your house with a really big check. Well, you know, it ain't serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that one too. Ah, I didn't get it. More bad. clues. That's not bad. Yeah, give uh, more clues than that one. I don't virus. get it. I got it, but keep I don't going. Get it. Um, I used to host Star Search. <laughs> it's supposed to be a clue. Come on, who? Go. More clues. <laughs> I was known for my trademark laugh. <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> Uh Roland Campos? <laughs> oh. Would that be uh, Ed McMahon virus? That would oh. be correct. Cool. Good, good thing you didn't mention his sidekick for Carson. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mentioned Alpo before the Tonight Show. <laughs> All right, get oh, out. Oh. Yeah. Get we out. have one more, please. No, no. no. Come on. He yeah. actually knows too much. That's, that took 40 minutes to get two out of him. I know. He stinks. He does, he does he rot. He rots. <laughs> he walks down the hall. He's not happy. <laughs> there he goes. Yesterday, the virus told me this was the one bit that makes him think about taking his own life. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Out of all cool. the bits that he's you're done. Our listeners, so it's, you know why? Because it's an absolute uh, validation of every fear that he has, that he's just a lump. <laughs> Did you know when the virus was a little boy, he wanted to be uh, the host of The Tonight Show? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That's you true. actually said that? I've been sitting on that one for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We should have had him do some monologue jokes. Oh. God damn it. Now, is this the virus or is this, you know, no, uh, you rock? Young Sex Bagel, when he was growing up, wanted to be a uh, a late night talk show host. Oof. He did, did he? Like uh, Johnny Carson. Yeah. Mm. The virus rules. It's He's the my best. favorite thing right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's something. All right, why don't we take a break and we'll continue with October with the uh, the Lopewiser show from West Palm Beach, Florida. Okay, okay. it's, it's LSR, LSR, live, live and local. Yeah, just sure add an is. O and an E, yeah, and another <laughs> S. <laughs> Too much for the joke, I understand. Wait, why? <laughs> uh, spelling joke. Yeah, a little spelling joke you know, for the spellers <laughs> out there. <laughs> All right, quick yeah, break. We'll continue with Jacktober. Stay there. Bah. Let's get back into Jacktober. Uh, do we need another sweeper, or we just go into it? I just go into it. All right, let's do this. All right, second half of Jacktober. Uh, Bobby, if you want to sit out, we understand, you know. Yeah, we yeah. put some of you guys in bad positions, because we know you got to do a lot of radio out there when you're uh, trying yeah. to Bob has not bad -mouth these guys at all. All right. It, but if you feel uh, like doing it in fun. I, thi I think I actually like these guys. They were nice to me. Yeah, well... <laughs> I'll just shut up. <laughs> Jesus, Bobby. <laughs> just sit down. Don't embarrass yourself. Yeah. The rest of it's good. <laughs> Are they bad? Oh, oh, oh. We just didn't like that one bit. The rest, to give the rest of it a chance. All right, we'll do that, Sam. So we move on with Jocktober, looking at the show that replaced us uh, down there in West Palm Beach, Florida. Loper, Smitty, and Randy on Florida's new rock alternative, Buzz 103.1. Yeah. New rock alternative. Great. <laughs> Yuck. Talk, Sam. I gotta figure out what mics to turn off. Alternative well, to good. I'm talking into this. All you right, turn me on. Right. There, I'm All back right, on now. Take some of the noise out of the room. Uh, the gang opens the huge mail sack and read an email from a listener, which results in Randy and Loper talking about their wedding location. Now, Sam has uh, told us here that there is no huge mail sack and there is no listener email. All this was made up for the purpose of them setting up, uh, talking about their own wedding for their radio show. You could tell in the beginning of the email the greeting is obviously written by somebody who works at the station because that's the exact greeting that I would start Scorch's emails with. All right, perfect. All right, let's look into the Morning Buzz huge mail sack, shall we? <clears throat> this one comes to us from uh, Billy in Boynton. He says, what's up, Loper, Smitty, and Randy? How the hell are you? Love the show. Listen every single day, and uh, I couldn't help but <laughs> continue uh, to want. What's wrong? Self-serving. <laughs> what's wrong? Crap. You don't think that particular listener listens every day? I'm surprised the listener didn't mention the call letters. <laughs> 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 Fucking assholes. I love your live and local. <laughs> yeah, I love. Uh, what Great. Was it, what are they? Uh, L uh, L S R. Yeah. And would you ever write an email and actually, like, use the term, how the hell are you? No. 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 No person would do that. No. Were... Yeah, listen to the email and then picture actually writing it. You Nobody would. No Nobody would. would. 
No one would do that. Uh, I couldn't help but continue to wonder what Randy and Loper, outside of the crazy sex romp, got accomplished on their weekend to the Keys. That's uh, Billy and Boynton. I guess he's referring to uh, us going down to look for a wedding location. Oh. Like, he's wondering if we chose a location outside of our sex romp. Did you guys succeed? Which wasn't a sex romp, by the way, Billy. All right? I no, don't know no. if we've really succeeded yet. We haven't, I guess. Cause are, so is it definitely going to be at the Keys, 100%? I don't know that for sure. Ooh. I mean, I would say what, Rand? Like 90%? I guess 90%, yeah. you know? I mean, if anyone knows anywhere cool around here, you know, would we're, the, would we're the, open. Would the t- so the 10% wouldn't be, like, something more crazy like Puerto Rico or no. Costa Rica. No. It would be something more local. Absolutely. Right? Wow. You know, I listening listen to, to wedding to planning <sighs> is... Uh... And, they, and you notice they had <laughs> the local angle. Of course they did. Why would they get open for the possibility that maybe they get married locally? Local. <laughs> Everything's got to be Enough local. Enough about the local. Fuck the local. We lost Jimmy. Right. He can't handle this anymore. Well, why? <laughs> He's done. He just walks out. Why would you want to get married any place other than West Palm, Florida? Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. All yeah. right. Well. Card and spot. Uh, the wedding talk continues with, with no bit. They solicit calls asking for wedding locations. Holy shit. It's pretty gone. Yeah, this is good stuff now, I bet. a boy. Here we go. Hope they get some funny ones. Oh. You know, like, there's all kinds of things people don't know. You know, it's cheaper to have a wedding on a Friday than it is on a Saturday. Yeah, that is Pause true. Pause that for why? a second. I did not know that. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I wonder why. I don't know. Fodder for conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to a Friday wedding? No. Oh, I wouldn't gosh. remember. I blo- Who cares? <laughs> yeah, what there's Gives a like fuck. Day of time. The church is at 11. Really? Is it? We have to work. Cocktail hour, t- 2 in the afternoon. Really? That's probably oh, that's How about like... you spend a few a few bucks on your wedding and exactly. make it on a Saturday when we're all off? My sister, my sister got married on a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got a deal oh, that thanks. she gets. That's convenient. I got married on a Tuesday. Uh, see, that's Tuesday. just selfish. I bobbed it on the beach, though. At least he oh, no, didn't that's drag different. us yeah, all there. That's but Sam's sister was just being fucking a total that's piece selfish, of shit. Sam. <laughs> she got married in the city. She just assumed that everyone wants to take a fucking vacation day to go to her wedding. Yeah, that's not that nice. Day. And it was like, yeah, it was just what you said. It was the early afternoon church into the reception. Right. And then the reception goes to one o'clock in the People morning. People count so their you... fucking vacation days on their on their one hand. And now they go, oh, great. I got to use one for someone's wedding. But it wasn't <laughs> yeah. even the, the Friday. Not to, I don't know, do something fucking cool for the day. Because at least on the Friday, if you go to the reception until one o'clock, you know. Right. But you do it on a, on a Wednesday, you got to take off Thursday, too. <laughs> right. Yeah. Terrible. Right, right. <laughs> Your sister's awful. <laughs> don't ever talk about her again. I met her, and she's so nice. She's but not still, nice. Sam, Jesus Christ, what was she thinking? That's not fair. What kind of deal did she get? I don't know. I didn't pay for it myself. 50% off, I guarantee. Because who else is getting married on a fucking Wednesday? I hope she only saved like $30. <laughs> Inconvenienced everybody. I got. I think I, get, I went to a wedding once. It was the day before like Christmas Eve. I'm like, really? Yeah, it's an inconvenience. You know this is a busy fucking time of the year. I got last minute shopping to do, and now I have to deal with a fucking wedding the yeah. day before God Christmas damn Eve. Jewish people. Jewish, Jewish, Jewish. Were nope. they Jewish? No. <laughs> you know what? I want to get married, Gregory. <laughs> Where, oh. Ted? I want to get married on Groundhog Day so everybody can dress like Paul Fultani Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I love Paul Fultani Phil. I just want to go scooch a scooch under his chin. <laughs> scooch a scooch. He's very vicious, that little fucker. Oh, no. He's lovely. He loves me. He bites people. He nuzzle. <laughs> now, let's get back to Loper. <laughs> And do you know, like, there's all kinds of things people don't know. You know, it's cheaper to have a wedding on a Friday than it is on a Saturday. Yeah, that is true. And Why? I don't know. Let's go That's over weird. these things, all right? Like there's random. a lot of things maybe you don't know. You, you ask some questions, but he will answer the questions. I have a vote. What's that? I think you should have the wedding at that one underwater hotel you were showing me the other day, uh, Randy. That is yeah. cool. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's underwater. It's 20 was, feet underground. I would love it. My mama. That, wait, wait, that, isn't that uh, that awful uh, thing we talked about? <laughs> Where's and that? We, we actually <laughs> spoke to a woman that worked there. Is she listening today? And said it was she'll, a... She'll tell you how cool that horrible underwater hotel thing is all about. Mildewed... <laughs> <laughs> drippy, fucking stinking, smells metal like, rust bucket. Smells like Chinatown on a hot summer's yeah. day. It's not a hotel. With all that shit that's rotting that they're trying to sell us. It's a like a bed in <laughs> right. a fucking 55-gallon drum <laughs> underwater. <laughs> right. How do you get out of there? Is there a steps or is there a sub? 
you got to, uh, uh, I think, swim in and threw an airlock in the no, bottom. Well, they don't want they, no, Yes, you got to go down and this swim. Little, this is a little tunnel thing. You got to swim. But you don't. No, you swim. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't <laughs> swear think so. to you. Do you drag your luggage? Uh, yeah, how do you get your luggage down? <laughs> I know. Oh, didn't she say they put it in plastic or something? How do you get your luggage? I don't know. She, and get your she luggage back down there? She was... She was a favorite phone call of ours. But you can only take, she like, so much. Place. Because you can only take, like, so much because, like, luggage won't even fit through the airlock thing. All right. Here we go. More wedding talk. Underground. I would love if my mama could go. Yeah. Smitty, she's 88. My, How is she going to scuba dive down to the bottom? My granny, my papa. Wedding survivor. Yeah. No. Sorry, mama. Yeah. Get in the pool. Michael Phelps it up a little bit. 550-9103. Toll free. 866-954-ROCK. Uh, hey, where should Randy and I get hitched? We'll take your suggestions coming up oh, next. Oh, come on. Yeah. What? Out of all the Give phone to topics the you can do? Yes. They have decided... So what they're going to do with their day is spend an hour, and yes, they spent an hour. They spent an hour on this? Talking about where they're going to get married locally. Holy shit. Not exotic places, not crazy fun places, but just different venues in West Palm Beach right. and the surrounding area that could facilitate a wedding. Well... The next track, they actually start talking, uh, taking calls, excuse me, with wedding location suggestions. So they're actually doing it, Ant. Uh, Tiffany in West Palm Beach, hello. Hey, hey, guys. I wanted to wish you congratulations first off. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Thanks, Tiff. Appreciate that. <laughs> My friend is getting married at the Addison in Boca Raton in January, and it is absolutely gorgeous. What is it? Say, say it again. Boca, Boca. It's the Addison. The Addison, kind of like the yeah. Madison without the M. Yes. Right, okay. and it's, it's in Boca, and the they Boca have like, these big oak trees in the middle that they light up for you. It's it's really? absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you should check it out. Big oak trees, huh? I like yeah. that. I like how she says that. It's really gorgeous. It's in Boca. I'm from Louisiana, and we have huge oak trees full of moss and stuff, and that makes me think of home, so yeah. that's pretty interesting. It, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's the polar opposite of interesting. It couldn't be less interesting, actually. I would bet money they already know where they're being fucking Of married. course they do. <laughs> well, why spend so much time? It's like when you hear your loved ones talking about their wedding, you want to kill yourself because it's boring. Oh, is that what happened with your sister getting married recently? Yes, I told you it to like You didn't like the fucking marriage talk? Every time I went over to, their, to my parents' house, all they were talking about was the wedding. And they're related to me. So right. I don't need to hear an hour <laughs> of strangers talking about it. Danny Excuse Steve me, I'd like straight. to get back to the laughs, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. More <laughs> wedding suggestions. Here we go. Jacktober continues. Nick in Fort Pierce. Uh, you're next. Go ahead, man. How's it going? Uh, going well. If you say Fort Pierce, I'm going to say uh, going bad. <laughs> no, I'm driving through, going yeah. to work. Okay. <laughs> um, there's a spot down in Key Largo called Snooks by the Bay. Snooks by the Bay. No, How many we haven't checked that out yet. Are... Snooks by... Is there all you can handle snook fishing? Um, I would imagine there is. Oh, no. Good. It overlooks the bay. Actually, there's a website you can go on to and check it out. Well, when we're planning on getting married, we'll actually be out of snook season, so that's a bobber. Yeah. Well, yeah. Then, then we can get married there, actually. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry I missed your wedding, guys, but I got a three-foot snook. Three snook. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. Um, that'd be impressive. Who the fuck looks forward to this in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Who runs out to the car to hear this fucking shit? I love the genuine anger that Jimmy, Whoa. that pops up in Jimmy. I don't get it. It's just genuine anger. I don't fucking get it. Well, walk through it. You wake up and you're running to your fucking radio. You can't yeah. wait to get involved. Oh, they're <laughs> right. on. Right. Yeah. Phyllis are live and local. <laughs> local and what vocal. is it? Local, uh, whatever it live, is. Live, live, local, local and vocal. vocal and vocal. Get me a lope wiser, somebody quickly. Oh yeah. Where's yeah. my lope wiser? Here you go, Jimmy. Here you go. That's right, sir. I got it right here for you, right, That's right now. I see cold. You pop the fucking pop the tap in your mouth and work those balls. Get a nice lope wiser. Blowjob joke. All right, let's get back to this. So uh, we go back to Loper, and they're still talking. Wow, you you put this in caps, Sam. So yes. that means you got anger. Uh, uh, you got mad. They're still uh, taking wedding location suggestions. Cool. Uh, let's go to Mike on the turnpike. Good morning, Mike. Hey, good morning. What's up, dude? Uh, I'm, I'm with that guy that uh, oh. said snooks, but just to the south of that, like mile marker 100, is uh, the Key Lime Sailing Club. It's like little cottages right on the water. Okay. Uh, full of fish and seas. And it would probably, you know, 
Mm. <laughs> probably accommodate maybe yeah. 30, 40 people uh, stay in the night there. And every room comes with a sailboat. Oh, what? really? Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, it, 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 is, it is so cool. What is I it called? Key there. Lime? Key Lime Sailing Club. Sailing Club. Uh, See, this is what awesome. I like. You find it on the internet, no, you don't. It's, 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 uh, now, the rooms are peachy, so it's, you know, nothing matches, and it's kind of, you know, whatever, but, but it's really nice. And yeah, it's that's very where nice they're going for their I'm wedding. I'm happy if my hotel comes with a chocolate Andy's mint on my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's low budget. <laughs> Get it? Stop it. Who wants a sailboat with their room? Yeah. What the fuck? Who the fuck wants a sailboat? Well. Smitty. Can we finish Smitty. This? Smitty, right? Yeah. Can we stop yeah. now, Sam? Actually, no. Please? No, because we have not properly highlighted they come out. Smitty and well, Smitty. this is good. They come out of the horrendous wedding talk with Smitty's Soap Box. What's yeah. this about, Sam? This is like a, a ripped-off fezzatorial done extremely poorly. Oh, it's like he's up on his soapbox. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's sounding off about whatever it is that's got him riled up, and, and this week it's The Price is Right. It's cool. He's mad at The Price is Right? Why not? It's fucking very relevant. Why is he mad at The Price is Right? Well, some, Don't spoil it, Sam. Something he saw on the hit TV show, The Price is Right, uh. got him riled up. All right, hold on. Larry King wants in. We haven't heard from Larry oh, today. Larry. We got Larry King audio for real. Uh, Hulk Hogan was on. It was just horrendous. Correct. Larry, what do you got today, buddy? Good morning, my boys. I once went to a wedding at 1 in the afternoon on a Saturday in June. Questions, comments? <laughs> what? What happened? What? How important is time when I'm wasting it? <laughs> <laughs> a boo. A boo is it's right. It's getting a boo. Is... I got to take the blame for that. Why? You thought it was good? Yeah, I fucking failed miserably. Aw. Larry King's usually a hit on our show. Smitty. Here's uh, Loper and his uh, soapbox thing. Odd. Smitty's soapbox. Smitty's oh, soapbox. So who's Smitty? Loper and Smitty. Oh. He's <laughs> the proverbial third wheel in the gang. All right. It is 8.16 here on the Morning Buzz, and time for Smitty's Soapbox. Uh, Y'all ready for this? <laughs> we are, sir. Yeah. Jimmy. You guys uh, hear the... the well, Jimmy. It's the your face is in your hands. You're right. I'm embarrassed. It's gonna, this is horrible. Smitty's going to tell it like it is. Oh, the fake... The, I'm sick of the applause sound effect. It's a, it's, yeah, fuck. How, how many times... How much clapping do they need? Stop it. And it's bad applause, too. Self-congratulatory douchebags. Just to make up for the fucking awful silence in the room? <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Cover up the dead air. It is 8.16 here on the Morning Buzz, and time for Smitty's Soapbox. Smitty's. Y'all ready for this? We are, sir. Yes. <clears throat> if by chance you ever happen to find yourself on the Price is Right Showcase Showdown and are at first <laughs> offered a dinette set and trip for two to Mexico City, right. you need to tell Drew Carey to shut up and pass that ish to the slightly <laughs> overweight college girl standing next to you. Always, man. Because you know, and I know, and everyone knows that within that next showcase lies a somewhat mediocre 2009 Pontiac. <laughs> You need that somewhat mediocre 2009 Pontiac. <laughs> and look what we have here. The slightly overweight college girl just bid $36,000 on the dinette set. Now do us all a favor and bid $1 so you can drive that Pontiac right into the heart of your dreams. Meanwhile, the dog you've had for two years, which you never got around to neutering, just humped every stray hussy on your street. Uh-huh. I always knew you were a jerk. The See end. Me. I need like an out. I need like a love Smitty balls or something, so you know when they're officially over. Well, that's over, Whoa. and I like that, man. How about holy when shit? Wait, 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 Jimmy. Before you say anything, I think you got stiff competition for that fucking fucking uninvited guest thing you're doing for Leno. I should just change the name, <laughs> right? To fucking what's it called? Jimmy soapbox. Shitty, shitty soapbox. Shitty, shitty, shitty soapbox. Shitty soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? Hey, what did you say about <laughs> we need a sound effect to know when it's over? Usually, yeah. if you got really good material, yeah. the listeners know when it's over. How about this? Because they've effect? had their share of laughs. Yeah. Here's the sound effect for them. <laughs> did you hear when he said "pass that ish"? You know what ish? Oh no, what? I tapped out way before that. It was actually in the very beginning. Oh. Pass that. <laughs> tapped out anyway. Pass yeah. that. Ish. What's well, an ish? See, in uh, in 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 hip hop lyrics on the radio, a lot of times they'll play the curse words backwards instead of beeping them out. So a lot of the funnier talk programs nowadays will say ish uh, instead of shit. Oh, I got it. It's a sort of a hats off to you, 
okay. type of thing. So that's kind of just very good. Shut up, your fucking tnuck. Okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you tunk. <laughs> that's what I just kind of said. All right. Tnuck. <laughs> See, it's T N U. I said tunk. Yeah, you said tongue. Which would have been knut. <laughs> you oh. suck at that. Oob. Oob. <laughs> Jesus. That's your backwards uh, boo. Uh, By the way, Bobby took a break. He's going to be back in studio in uh, about 15 more minutes. So. Yeah. What happened? I don't know. He left. He didn't want to be part I gotta of this. I got to leave. What, the what do you mean you got to leave? We got one more fucking truck, oh, Jimmy. I'll hear the other truck. All right. Oh, the gang says goodbye. Oh, cool. The gang says goodbye for the morning. Hope it's the same way fucking Steve McNair and his girlfriend said goodbye. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Or the old, the it. old Phil Hartman send off. <laughs> you want the buyers to, to do it? It was Bill Shatner's wife. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The old, the old fucking <laughs> Luke Costello kid. Hey, take it easy, glub glub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, Tommy, could you babysit? Rock and roll! <laughs> yeah, man, I'll keep an eye on the kid. <laughs> hey, what the Oops. fuck was he doing that day? Exactly. Not checking the skimmers. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What have we got in here? <laughs> <laughs> what have we got in here? <laughs> here we go. Let, let the lope wiser say goodbye. All right. Absolutely. Randy, tell the world that uh, we'll see him tonight at Roxy's. Everyone, the world. I'm sorry, not everyone. The world will be at Roxy's well, tonight. Don't take Florida for granted. And Smitty, <laughs> you want to bid uh, everybody oh. farewell? Don't take good music for granted. That's right. That's Come to Roxy's say. tonight, 9 o'clock. Have a cocktail with me. <laughs> All right, and guys. Me. And you, and you, and you, and you. Uh, here's a icy cold one, man. Lopewiser for everybody getting through the work day. We'll see you tonight. There it's 948. Is. Jason Davis up next. A fucking icy cold Lopewiser. Icy cold Lopewiser. Finishes up the show nicely. Well, Get you through the work day. Well, guys, that should finish up the show. Yeah. But E Rock just brought in a bonus track. A bonus, a hidden track. And, and as much as we like to beat up E Rock, we fucking should be well, patting him on the do. back today. That sure. We could all at the same time <laughs> there'd still be room. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I think you said patting him on the back. It's already been done. E Rock, Rock just brought in a. Uh, Wait, little... what, what's he choking on that we have to pat him on the back? <laughs> exactly. Oh. It's a minute. Oh, look, it's a fucking. It's a, it's a leg. It's Bo Derek's leg. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Orca. Yeah, that's an Orca <laughs> reference. Very good. <laughs> Holy suck, by the way. I fucking hated oh, Orca. How the fuck did you get that? Ah, oh, shit. That's brilliant. He's implying that E Rock is as big as a killer whale. <laughs> I know. Uh, I think E Rock got it there. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to rub it in that much. I, I think he really got it. it. <laughs> he really got it. it to them. Um. All right, Iraq. What'd you bring in? Why don't you d <laughs> explain this? This is this is wow. This is this is gonna be a big douche chill. I was uh, trying to figure out if this if this engagement was real because on her MySpace is a bunch of photos with her and her I guess ex boyfriend, and there really wasn't anything with her and Loper. Huh. So uh, I was digging through, and they had some audio on their website that he pro that Loper proposed to her on the air. So it explained, uh, it sort of explained what happened to the ex that she broke up with that guy to start dating Loper. Yeah. And, uh, he does the full proposal on the air. And, uh, there's so this a little. Is, this is a, a bit. Well, I think when something might be mentioned during the proposal. So, so they're not engaged, you don't think? I'm, I think it, this is some kind of weird bit. No, it's real, I swear to they're, you. Yes, they're going to be married at the Fisherman's Hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, can you get Corey on the phone for us, please? <laughs> can you get Corey on the phone, please? Yes. <laughs> Here he is. He's got the accent. They're going to be married at the at Tettlebaum's Wharf. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. I just spoke with him on the phone. Yes. <laughs> it's in Ohio. It's south of Cleveland, about 1,200 miles in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, blithering idiot. <laughs> yes. Barack Obama's doing a tour. Would you like to get him in studio? Yes. Guys, a couple of pitches here. A couple. Do you want um? Do you want a uh, Bill Clinton? Yeah. No, we can't get him. Barack Obama. No, that's it. Neil Armstrong. <laughs> we no, could we... we could possibly get Sandy Kane or Pope John Paul before he died. <laughs> but I can't remember the new Nazi's name. 
<laughs> Pope Richard Widmark. That's who he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, I gotta hear the bonus tracks. I have to leave. I have to go catch right, a, yeah, yeah. Have to catch a silver airship. Let's do Ooh. this. Here we go. Can I just do something real quick? I would love if you did. I something just, real I quick. just want to say, I just want to say this. You know, like to all the buzz listeners out there, I want you to look high in the sky right now. I want you to look towards the ocean, especially if you're around 45th Street, 995. And, uh, <laughs> more local. <laughs> more local. <laughs> this fucking you dopes. Keep it local, guys. Listening to your PD is going to get you nowhere, you stupid dopes. Who wouldn't know where the fucking ocean is? You're surrounded by it in Florida. Yeah. Look <laughs> everywhere but north, right. you dope. <laughs> <laughs> fucking assholes. Anthony and I had to play by the rules for a little while, but then we realized that there was, oh, there was a bunch of horse shit, so we started breaking the rules. But the, all these other shows are not brave enough to do that. Stop listening to your PD about the local shit. It ain't going to get you anywhere. That reminds me of the title of my new book, Rules... Dot, 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 Who's got him? <laughs> Can I just do something real quick? I would love if you did. I something just, real quick. I just want to say, I just want to say this. Please. You know, like oh, yeah. to all the buzz listeners out there, I want you to look high in the sky right now. I want you to look towards the ocean, especially if you're around 45th Street, 995. And uh, Randy, I want you to look oh in front of 45th Street, 995. And if you're on the webcam, Randy Razor, I love you more than anyone I've ever loved in my whole life. Oh. And, uh, you know, with that being said, I love you more than anybody I've ever loved in my whole life. And I, I want to know if you'll marry me. Yes. Absolutely will marry you. I can't believe you have my name on a plane. <laughs> it just flew by on the sky. You if have you my name on a plane. I wish Mohammed Atta was right flying. <laughs> <laughs> How great would it be if the plane crashed right into that studio? <laughs> <laughs> How great would that be? Fucking hot. Dad, and they need dental records to identify oh, them. Fuck, fuck. That proposal was fucking terrible. He said the same thing twice. I love yeah. you more than uh, anybody I've ever loved in my life. And um, and then he and, said um, it twice. Yeah, I love yeah. you. Now look up in the sky to see the ocean. What? I want you to look up <laughs> in the sky about? so you can see the plane flying by. Oh. Flew by on the sky. You have my you look, name on a plane. If you look up in the sky right now, here, let me put the ring on your finger. I gave him the wrong hand on accident. <laughs> What? You guys will see uh, oh a little a little banner oh my God. in the sky. And Brandy, you want to read the banner to everyone? Okay, he's going by. It goes, Randy, will you marry me? Heart Loper. Where's the 103.1 FM. A plane keeps going circling it's around our building. Fuck it. Hold oh on, hold my on, hold God. on. It's got the call letters uh, on it. You, and you listen to the it's sales guys. The frequency too. on it. Oh what the God. fuck? Your proposal has the fucking you, radio station you on it. Fuck, you bartered your own fucking proposal. Yeah, yeah. Well, sales is going to have to work all, this out. Yeah, we just, with you know, plane. if you agree to this, Jeez. we just got to put the call uh, letters on there. And then if you could thank the company at the end yeah. of your show for doing this. I can't read it because the sign is going straight up and down. Pilot John Denver doesn't seem to be doing this right. <laughs> <laughs> How great would that be? Oh, look, our sign is somewhere in the ocean on the way to Hyannisport. <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor Johnny Jr. and his fucking banged up foot didn't do too good. <laughs> <laughs> nice throttle, dick. <laughs> Loper. Where's the 103.1 FM. A plane keeps going circling around our building. Do we have, oh, like, clearance? That guy blew the bit, by the way. Where's the plane? I want to see it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, 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 they made it sound like it was right outside the window, obvious to everybody. And then look, that fucking idiot with his dumb improv <laughs> fucked up the whole bit. He was probably distracted by the balloon. Uh, with two jocks in it dropping brassiere. All right, all right. Jesus. <laughs> you have to remind you everyone. You guys are fucking crazy. Yeah! <laughs> that was madness. Uh, We're flying good. a Zeppelin! Do the bit! Oh, douchey chills. <laughs> good job, Iraq. Yeah. Wait, there's a little more. Heart Loper. Where's the 103.1 FM. A plane keeps going circling around our building. It, do we have, like, clearance, flight clearance for this? I can't believe, oh I'm in shock. I, I make jokes when I'm in shock, and I'm in shock right now. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back, South Florida. Oh, I'm getting married. I am crying. Yeah, so are the listeners. Holy <laughs> shit. Exactly. That is such a fucking... Cool fucking kid! Yeah. It's a radio bit. It's a fucking fake radio bit engagement thing. They were hoping to get uh, some talk.
Yeah, some and, chatter. Some I, chatter. Some water cool. Uh, water. What is it called again? Water, water cooler, cooler talk. talk. Yeah. My agent says that sometimes. It seems like a little chatter starting. Yeah, I have to fucking chatter. hang up on Pete. I'm like if you say of chatter course. again, I'm firing you. Chatter. No one says chatter. I miss Pete. I miss Pete too. And he says chatter. <laughs> right. That's fucking awful ideas. I love Pete, but he comes up with some of the fucking worst <laughs> suggestions ever. Take a wrench and hit him in his teeth oh. when he says that. His That's awful. Fine. His awful fucking, Just fucking mock turtlenecks. <laughs> 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 he has no sense of fashion Pete's whatsoever. Pete's fucking fat. Uh, Pete, if you're listening, <laughs> you your fucking... outfits stink. Hey, hey, suck a dick. <laughs> I forget what is uh, the, the other shirts he wears, but Jonathan always teases him because my fucking awful manager, Jonathan, always has IJBL. He has his initials on his fucking uh, pocket, which is also the sign of an S. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there are windows in that studio. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, right. You're a great find, man. Great yeah. find. That was really moving. Oh, fucking. I, I got those goosebumps, man, as I was listening to that. That, that is so douchey. douchey. That was pretty Fake bad. Fake radio proposal. I don't know about that, Anthony. I don't think it's fair to say Fake that. Fake radio proposal.